rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, all in Tangy. Today is Thursday, December 13th. I'm Cody Gifford. And I'm Allie Gerard. And you're watching Tangy Today. The Beacon Blanket Drive is running this week. Bring new or gently used blankets to the journalism lab, room 2506 slash 2511, to give back to our com community in this way. There will be a brief meeting after school on 12-17-18 at 2.45 p.m. in room 1259 for any boys interested in track this spring. The meeting is for athletes only and will discuss conditioning, indoor track, and the spring season. And now over to Will and Emily for 30 second news. What's up, Will and Tangy? I'm Emily Brock. And I'm Will McGraw. And this is your 30 second news. Last Thursday, a U.S. Marine fuel plane and fighter jet collided and crashed into the Pacific off the southwestern coast of Japan. A total of seven troops were involved. The collision, which occurred around 2 a.m., happened roughly 200 miles off of the Japanese coast, according to the U.S. military. However, Japanese officials stated the two planes hit only 60 miles off, which is where two crew members were found by Japanese search and rescue missions. According to CBS, the first individual was found in stable condition, though nothing has been released about the condition of the second. Later, a Facebook post from the Marines announced a third crew member was recovered. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration released a report on Tuesday stating the Arctic is experiencing a period of multi-year heating that is unlike any period on record. It went on to state the temperatures of the Arctic are increasing more than twice as fast as the global average temperature, with latitudes above 60 degrees north coming in over 3 degrees above the global average, according to CNN. The past five years have seen temperatures higher than any others on historical record, which dates back to 1900. On Saturday, Oklahoma quarterback Kyler Murray was awarded the Heisman Trophy for his performance this season. Murray led the Oklahoma Sooners to a 12-1 record and a college football playoff spot and will take on the Alabama Crimson Tide in the Orange Bowl. Despite his success in football, Murray may end up going into Major League Baseball as he was drafted ninth overall by the Oakland Athletics and is expected to attend spring training. Murray will lead the Sooners in the first round of the CFP on December 29th at 8 o'clock p.m. This has been your 30 second news and we'll see you back here next week. And we're back. The annual pancake breakfast put on by the Olentangy Music Department is this Saturday. See a band member for tickets to this holiday event. The Winter Wonderful Semi-Formal Dance will be January 26th from 8 to 11 p.m. There will be more information to come after winter break. And now for a short commercial break. <laughs> Have a great day, Olin Tangy, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Yay! <laughs>